Okay, here's our second stop for the day. Pollock Vineyards. Uh, about maybe three miles from where we were before at Veritas. Uh, still after mountain and uh, anyway they have a pretty decent tasting room. I believe the last time I was here I walked through each of these rows and they have different varietals planted on the different rows. Uh, but anyway just wanted to get a quick shot here. They have a nice little lake in the back there and uh, let's uh, taste some wines and see see what we uh, think of them okay so we are ready to taste some wines from Pollock and I decided to do a, to do a mixed light um, it's kind of hard I'm just gonna move this here so you can at least see the color um, I've got a Viognier got a Chardonnay and then we've got a Cabernet Franc and a Merlot so uh, we'll taste them and see how it goes in uh, those Michelle's Okay, so we're at Pollock and they have different lots here with different uh, <clears throat> varietals. Obviously, this is Sauvignon Blanc, but I just wanted to just kind of uh, zoom over here and kind of get what they have. Um, mostly whites on this side and reds over there. Uh, just want to pan across. They have a beautiful uh, tasting area back there. and. Also, they have a nice farm there, and uh, yeah, it's beautiful. And check out the view over here with the mountains up there. This is beautiful. I'm just gonna walk over here among the vineyards, and as you can see, the soil is very red, clay, um, extremely red, means a lot of iron. Um, kind of reminds me of the Ionian coast in Puglia, which is very, way different than the rest of the Primitivo growing region. But uh, anyway, yeah. And over here, as far as the wines, I like the Viognier, I like the Chardonnay, the whites are pretty good. And uh, in fact, the, the Cabernet Franc and the Petit Verdot um, and the Merlot were pretty decent as well. So, pretty well balanced, I think, this winery is. And uh, anyway, that's it for that. 